Hello, folks, and welcome back to the channel. I got another rant for you. First, let's get this YouTube stuff out of the way. If you like the following content, make sure to smash that like button and then share it on your social media. When you share it on your social media, follow me on that Orange Man Bad app. The link is in the description. Subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell for all if you haven't done it yet already. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below the video and I'll get back to you. Those are all the free and easy things that you can do to help support the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, look in down in the description and use the Ko-Fi link for a one-time tip or the subscribe star to join as a channel member. Otherwise, underneath the YouTube video, use the join button or the super thanks button. All right, guys, let's get into this. Roll that intro. Well, what have I got to talk to you today about? Well, if you've, if you've been following my channel, you know that I've been posting the Tucker Carlson Twitter, Twitter videos on my channel. And, well, Tucker hasn't recently put out a video on Twitter. Now, I understand because Tucker's a busy guy. He's been in Romania. He's been... All over the place, he went on Russell Brand's podcast uh, on the 7th. So, I've got a clip here talking, him talking about Donald Trump. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play the clip and then we'll have a discussion about it afterwards. I, you know, I think looking back on this 10 years from now, assuming we're still around, uh, I think we're going to see Trump's emergence as as the most significant thing to happen in American politics in 100 years because he reoriented the Republican Party um, against the wishes of Republican leaders. Uh, but when I think about Trump right now, so it's July of 2023, you know, I'm struck by his foreign policy views. You know, Trump is the only person um, with stature in the Republican Party really who's saying, wait a second, you know, wh why are we supporting an endless war in Ukraine? And that, you know, leaving aside whether Trump's gonna get the nomination or get elected president or would be a good president, you know, I can't even assess that. All I can say at this point is, I'm so grateful that he has that position, he's right. And everyone in Washington's wrong, everyone. Mm -hmm. And Trump is right on that question. And it's a big question. That war is reshaping the world. It's reshaping the economy of the world. It's reshaping populations. The ref I mean, I was just in Romania last week, you know, which is of course shares a border with Ukraine. It, the, the refugees in that region, the number of people killed in that war. I mean, Europe will never be the same because of this war. And it really matters. And Trump alone among popular figures in both parties understands that, and I'm grateful for it. Whether he gets the nomination or gets elected, it, it, you know, words really matter. Saying something true out loud matters. And he is saying true things about Ukraine, and God bless him. That's how I feel. Well, what do you guys think? Leave some comments down below the video and let me know what you guys think about what Tucker had to say about Donald Trump. I personally think he's right. He's the only guy in the Republican Party that's talked that's talking about not having World War III. I mean, all the other ones seem to want to support the Ukraine government against Russia and and basically are backing World War III. Uh, I'm old enough to remember that when Donald Trump got elected in 2016, that when he got into office and was in office, the Democrat cult kooks we're all like, oh, he, he's literally Hitler. He's going to he's gonna start World War III and blah, 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 and it didn't happen. It, in fact, world relations got a lot better 
Um, Donald Trump made peace in the Middle East. And he's the only president that ever did that. And he, he moved the embassy to Jerusalem, which I don't know if it's still there or not. I'd have to check into that. But I don't imagine Joe Biden would let that slide. He'd probably put it back in Tel Aviv. Who knows? But I'm like I said, what do you guys think? So leave comments down below the video and let's have a discussion about it because I always uh, get back get back to all my comments all right that's gonna be it for this video guys thanks for watching remember if you like the content smash that like button and then share it on your social media when you share it on your social media follow me on that orange man bad app Link is in the description and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell for all if you haven't done it yet already. And like I said, leave some comments down below the video. We'll have a discussion. I read all my comments, so I'll get back to you. Those are all the free and easy things you can do to help support the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, look in the description. Use the Ko-Fi link for a one-time tip or the subscribe star to join as a channel member. Otherwise, underneath the YouTube video, use the join button or the super thanks button. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, and remember, until next time, keep your sword sharp, don't be a milk drinker, and always watch the skies, traveler.